buddies in the holiday spirit in more ways than one. Some of us might be a little on the lazy end, and that's okay. But one thing we want to make sure that we and our children are doing is maintaining our reading schedule or possibly picking up new habits to read. I'm here with Shelby at Ritama Library, and there's a really cool challenge going on at all of our local libraries that we can't wait to tell you about. So great to be here with you. Yes, ma'am, it's good to be here too. So tell me about this winter challenge. It's such a cool concept. So we came up with this concept because we just got a new app called Read Squared, mm -hmm. and we want, it's going to be used in the summer, and we wanted to test it out, and what better way to do it than, than in the winter to sure. get people to keep reading while they're on break. Um, and it's definitely for all ages. It goes from babies zero all the way to teenager 18 years old. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, and so how does it work? Is there like a point system? Yeah. And we have to have the app to, to participate? Yes, you have to have the app to participate. There is no paper trail. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a point system, so depending on what book you read, there's different points for those levels. And if you reach certain points, you get certain prizes. For example, if you read 10 points, you will get a free book that we have. If you get up to 30 points, we have a CCPL cup with goodies inside of it. And then 50 points will get you an entrance into a drawing for a Kindle. Ooh, okay, so mm -hmm. lots of incentives. And are there only certain books that fit into these categories or can they choose from any book in the library? They can choose any book that they want and that their parent is okay with. Okay, yeah. very cool. So what does it take to be a member here at the library? I know a lot of us haven't been or walked step foot into a library in years. And even myself walking in, I'm like, you know, my baby loves books. And I said, like, this is a place I need to bring my children more often. Mm -hmm. So um, how do we make sure that our card is active or how do we get a card? What does it sure, take? to get a card, all you need is a driver's license that shows that you're a resident of Corpus. Mm -hmm. If not, there's a simple fee that you have to pay. Um, but if you're a resident, just bring in your driver's license. If you want your child to get a card, we just need proof of guardianship for that child. Okay. And that's as simple and it's free, so you come in and it takes five minutes to sign up. Easy peasy. Yeah. So you can plan on doing all that in one trip. Yeah. Now, not only do we have the opportunity to read here, but you guys, I notice, always have something going on for the kiddos. So what mm -hmm. type of other activities do we have here at the libraries? We have tons of weekly programs at this branch. They're mainly in the mornings to get kids up and out of the house. Mm -hmm. And then we have some after school programs that are STEM related and we're also uh, starting up our sensory playroom that was grant funded which is going to be really exciting. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well the kids are going to love that and I know I see most of this stuff on Facebook but where's the best place to get all the information of what's happening at the libraries? Uh, either read the Read Squared app is going to have our full calendar on there or Facebook and Instagram and we have brochure booklets that you can come and get in person and it's available online as well. Very, very yeah. cool. Okay, lots of reasons to read this holiday season but really all year long. How long is the stretch of time for this winter challenge that they're having? It's a little less than a month. It's between December 20, oh, I apologize. It's December 18th through January 13th. So I believe that's one week after the kiddos go back to school just in case they have some final books they want to get in. Very cool. Yeah. I love that. And I just love the concept of like points for books because some of our kids are a little tougher to get to read than others. Mm -hmm. So that's something we can try at home as well and like give them an incentive and maybe we purchase a new book or a toy yeah. or something they're looking forward to. Yeah, so. and it, it's very easy to get to 10 points mm -hmm. and 30 points and 50 because it sounds like a lot, but just read maybe five books and you're already there. Love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well guys, that's just one of the many cool things happening here at the Rotama Library, but this challenge is across all the libraries, so find the one closest to you and find a way.